Hey everyone, welcome back to Technopedia. Today we will review the Lineage OS ROM for our Galaxy Note 2, which we installed few days earlier. So without any further ado, we will start now. Okay, booting the phone now. Here is the startup screen from Samsung. I will just forward this. Here is the boot animation which we get in this ROM. It's a cool Lineage OS animation. As you guys can see, okay, so our phone has booted. We'll jump into the settings first. Okay, here are the settings. And on the about phone tab, we can see the Android version straight away. Okay, going inside gives us more details about this ROM. As you can see, the build date, kernel version. Okay, Android security level, that's really nice. We do have a Delta updates option and we did got an update after which the performance was improved a bit. But currently we are up to date. Okay. We were using this ROM from couple of days and it performed really well. Okay. Here are the scrollable toggles. We can edit them as well. Just tap on the edit tab and you can select any toggles which you want to appear here. We do get some custom toggles as you can see the Android Easter egg and the direct selfie with the open camera, the dumpster, dumpster sorry, profile GPU rendering and record the screen. So many toggles are here. Okay, here is our dialer. We'll just check the rill if it's working or not. If it's not, we won't see the IMA. But we are seeing it now, so the radio is also working. That's nice. And we do get those quick settings, which appears while we keep the icon tabbed, as you guys can see. It's performing really nice. Okay. As you can see, Play Store is also having that feature. Okay, Play Store is also working. Here is the app drawer. As you can see, it's very snappy. No legs at all. Now we will check the camera. Okay, the focus is really nice. We will try to capture a pic quickly. Okay, as you can see, oops, okay, one second, I think it's too close, we'll just take it further, okay, as you can see, focus is also working nice, well, here's my iPhone 7 Plus, with which I'm currently recording, okay. Now we will try to play the music app, which is Wink Music. Okay. The sound quality on this ROM is uh, pretty nice. We will quickly open the sound meter app on our another phone and check the sound levels. Okay, as you can see, we are getting a decent sound quality out of this ROM. So no doubts with the sound quality. So jumping into the settings again. And we will check some additional features. Let's jump into the display. As you can see, we get a bunch of options in the display. Here is the night light option. Okay. We do get the expanded desktop. Okay, that's nice. We also have screenshot type, which will allow us to take a custom screenshots when we will select the other option. That's a nice thing. Here's the screen saver. And nice thing is the ambient display. As you can see, it go gives us a quick glance of the any notifications which arise. Okay. Turning on the handwave option will disable the proximity wake option. So we can't use them both together, obviously, as they use the proximity sensor. Okay, the handwave will wake the screen if we have checked the last option as you can see proximity wake now we will try the pocket mode 
and just flip the phone over and we'll see if it gives us a quick glance okay as you can see it's working really nice so overall the room is pretty decent no performance issues Coming to the battery part, this room does require more charging time as compared to the stock room and regarding the backup, it's, it is not as great as the stock room. So that's not a good thing. Rest everything works fine. We do get on screen navigation buttons on this room which performs flawlessly. Okay, we'll turn it on okay as you can see here are those buttons but sometimes when we were using these buttons we got so many camera errors which were gone while we turned this off so we would recommend you to use the inbuilt buttons not the on screen here are the security options we get those additional settings also as you can see so many additional settings are available to play with that's a nice thing now coming to the developer options we didn't make any changes in this we just did some changes in the animation scale and the duration as you can see by default it was like 1.5 or something so we turned it 2.5 which gives us a pretty decent performance as you can see and the portable hotspot on this room is also working if this concerns any of you now we will check the bluetooth also we'll try to connect our earphones the soundbeats qi7 which we unboxed earlier we'll just quickly turn them on okay the earphones are on now we'll quickly connect it and we'll try to play any music so we are connected now we'll open our wink music again as you can see we also we are also getting the battery percentage of our earphones just beside the bluetooth logo that's really a nice thing so modern accessories will provide you with this type of information also and the earphones are working flawlessly as you guys can see now we will try to play some games also to check whether they are performing well or not first we are trying the pac-man so here is the pac-man game okay as you can see the gameplay is very smooth no lags with the gameplay okay now it's time for the subway surfers no lags in it either so as you can see the smooth gameplay without any issues okay that's a nice thing for us and one of the best thing of this room is that it provides us with the google assistant okay we will give it a try as you can see before it was limited to the pixel devices only but we are really happy to have it on our note 2 we'll give it a try okay as you can see it's really snappy the response time is also very great We'll try to use it again. Let's say something else. Who is the president of India? As you can see, the Google Assistant is performing really nice. It also sets an alarm for us. We'll try it. Okay, as you can see, we can also start the timer. As you see, it's really a nice feature of this room and Google Assistant also works from the lock screen we'll give it a try okay as you can see it's always ready for us that's really a nice thing now at last we will give a little roundup to the bugs we faced while we were using this room so that is the first one is the proximity sensor which is buggy sometimes but it's not a huge deal and after that battery life could have been better on this room and this room requires much more charging time as compared to the stock room so that's not a great thing 
and at the last we were while we were using the on screen nav buttons the camera was giving so many errors so we turned the on screen nav buttons off rest all the things are performing really great on this rom we were using this from couple of days as our daily driver and if you guys want to enjoy the nougat features on your galaxy note 2 i would definitely recommend you to give this rom a try so thank you so much for watching guys if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos thank you